Hi everybody. Today, let's walk through five workflows that you can build inside HubSpot using the Aircall HubSpot integration. Now, this is going to specifically benefit your sales team. Now, we all love automation, specifically because when used correctly, it stops us from completing mundane tasks and gets us doing what we were really hired to do. Now, for our salespeople, this means getting back to selling. Now, before I dive in, let's talk about one way specifically that the Aircall tool differs to the HubSpot dialer. Now, Aircall offers an abundance of features, um, which you can find in our blog, and I will link to in, uh, at the bottom of this video. The main difference that I want to point out is the automated workflow triggers in HubSpot. Now, what we like to say is Aircall makes HubSpot work better. And walking through these five workflow examples, you're going to see exactly what I mean. So let's dive into the first one. So let's think about if your sales team, if members of your sales team work in specific industry focuses, you want, when a lead comes in, you want that lead to be assigned to the correct AE according to what industry their business is in. So here in this example, if an opportunity is AE accepted, which might mean that they're ready for a demo, HubSpot is going to check their industry to see um, if the air call tag has been tagged as professional services or insurance or banking or whatever industry focus you are targeting. Then that visitor will navigate through to different branches depending on their industry and their deal will be assigned to the specific account executive. From there, you can create an automated email that uses personalization tokens to get more information from them, remind them of the upcoming demo or ask them if they would like to book a demo. Uh, using your meeting link in HubSpot. So as you can see, really there is no manual work needed from your sales rep in this case. It's all automatically done and it will introduce a big time saver. Now, the second workflow is a good example for your company to use if you have both BDR and AE functions or in any case where a lead is handed off from one team to the next. Here, the trigger is going to be an air call tag again. And specifically what we identified is a discovery call has happened and they are a sales qualified lead. This enrollment trigger specifically means that the BDR thinks that the lead should be looked at by the AE team and if they should progress down the funnel. So what will happen is a task will be created and assigned to the new contact over. Now backtracking a step here, if you have specific industry focuses, you can create an if-then branch again, but here I just created a simple one to get the message across. Now the BDR or the contact owner in this case will have a task and will have five days to complete call notes to make sure that the AE has everything that they, has every piece of key information that they need in order to determine if they are ready to be an SQL or AE accepted. If they are, a task will be created for the assigned AE and you can assign it to specific people or you can assign it to specific teams. So you could have a BDR team within HubSpot and an AE team within HubSpot. And then moving down the workflow, if it's AE accepted, send an internal email notification to both the account manager and the contact owner with the discovery notes so that the AE has all of the information. Then they're gonna send a new email to the lead requesting key information in order to book a demo. Now, what happens if you offer different support packages? So you might have this whale client come in and they have either signed up or you have offered a higher tier support package. In this case, what you would do using Aircall is assign them a specific phone number to call in if they have a support request. Since they'll be part of a list membership and using that phone number, it will be very easy to identify when a contact is part of a tier one or a tier two or tier three support package. It'll create a task for the original contact owner or specific team or team member to review the support request and just check in with the account manager and with that client to make sure that they're receiving everything they need and if they need any additional support. So again, just taking that extra step to offer an exceptional customer experience. Now, what happens if somebody is unqualified? If it's bad timing or if it's a poor fit or if it's a wrong person, you don't just wanna shoo them out the door, you still wanna give them a nice experience. So in this case, again, using air call tags, you'll identify the reason for them being unqualified and then they will 
go down the proper workflow. If it's bad timing, it might be worth you checking back in 90 days or 180 days or whatnot um, to see if it's a better timing then to reach out. If it's the wrong person, you're going to need some manual work here where the contact owner should send an email saying who is the right person to reach out with and go from there. Now, what if your sales team is making an abundance of calls and they hit a few unanswered called or hit somebody's inbox? You don't just want to forget about them and move on. It could be the perfect opportunity. So you'll just create a task to remind, remind the salesperson in one day to check back in and reach out via email or call um, and get back in touch with them. So pretty simple workflow, but oftentimes we can forget about these things. And so this just takes all of the thought out of it. So those are five workflows that you can build in HubSpot using air call tagging. Now, I hope you steal them and use them in your own business so that you can get your sales team selling more. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I'm going to be creating five workflows that your customer service team can also steal. Bye.